Hi everyone, it's Pastor Paul Krampitz coming to you again from my study here at Bethany Lutheran Church. We're on Court Street in Cromwell, Connecticut. It's good to be with you again as we continue our time uh, working through Luther's small catechism. We are in the midst of our, our uh, short study of the Lord's Prayer. And uh, today I'd like to speak with you about the sixth petition, but let's get there first. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And now the sixth petition, save us from the time of trial. What does Luther have to say about this? What is this? To use Luther's question. It is true that God tempts no one, but we ask in this prayer that God would preserve and keep us so that the devil, the world, and our flesh may not deceive us or mislead us into false belief, despair, and other great and shameful sins, and that although we may be attacked by them, we may finally prevail and gain the victory. So save us from the time of trial. Uh, it's true, God doesn't um, tempt us, um, and, and that's perhaps a translation that's more familiar to some of you, lead us not into temptation. In fact, in Scripture, uh, God does lead God's self into temptation, right? If you'll recall the baptism of Jesus, uh, the Spirit appears, descends like a dove, and then the next thing that happens is that the Spirit leads or drives Jesus into the wilderness uh, where he faces temptation, uh, tests, or trials by the adversary. Um, I believe that God experienced that for us and that God does not lead us into temptation, um, that we are saved from the time of trial because of what God does in Jesus Christ. But what really strikes me about Luther's explanation here is when he talks about these sins um, so that our flesh may not deceive or mislead us into false belief, despair, and other great and shameful sins. So false belief and despair at the top of the list. Here Luther implores us to place our faith, our trust in God and to not despair no matter how difficult times may be, no matter the struggles that we face, not that God has caused them, but just because it's the nature of the world that we live in, we will go through difficult times. Um, We are not to despair, but rather our faith um, should bring us peace uh, and hope and knowing that God will be with us and see us through those difficult times. That's really the promise of the 23rd Psalm. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Actually, the more accurate translation would be, even though I walk through the valley of the darkest shadows. It's not just death that can be difficult. There are other struggles in this life. And the promise, of course, in that Psalm um, is, number one, that As we go through that dark valley, we are accompanied. We are not alone. And also that very important word through. We walk through that dark valley accompanied. And going through implies that we come out on the other side. And that's the promise. The promise, as the psalm ends, that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's it for this time. This is Pastor Paul saying goodbye and God bless.